Hello everyone and welcome back to more Dandelion Wishes brought to you. Oh my god, we are back for more Dion routes. Oh my gosh, so in the last episode, lots has happened. Lots and lots of stuff has happened in terms of uh, cutscene and story progression. So let me try to recall what's happening for the sake of myself and for you viewers in case, you know, you kind of forget like I do. So anyways, uh, I'm going to only recall the cutscene, so I think... First off, what happened was G G eh, G Hey, I'm gonna, what am I saying? G Hey was getting ready to leave for work, and then it's uh, as he is getting ready. Um, yeah, we kind of asked where he's going, but then he was like, uh, he revealed that he's going to work. But anyways, G Hey reminded us that while he's away from work and to look after Jian, um, he said that we cannot feed him um, no more than two apples a day, or else he's gonna get a little aggressive. And then T Jung obviously is like, what? He Jian aggressive? What the hell? So. Uh, Jihei made it sound like it's not such a big deal because oh yeah, the last time he ate a lot of apples, he moved three times as much as he did before, and then he just like what the fuck. So yeah, so Jihei gave us that warning. Also, we kind of talked briefly about how you know Jian is kind of lonely now. The fact that Jihei is working more, and you know Hee didn't mean it in that kind of way, where it's like Jihei has to always stay by his side, and that that got Jihei to worry a bit about Jian, whether he thinks that maybe he is. You know, leaving Jian alone too much, and that if he's not coping well with it, and, and you know, yeah, and then he's not getting along with us in that sort of sense. And then we're like, no, of course not, no. We're, you know, we're, we don't, we didn't mean it that way. But it's like, you know, it, just so you know, because because Jian is closest to Jihei, that you know, when he does leave, you know, he can he tends to get a little lonely. But you know, we got this. So so Jihei goes out to work, and then it's just. Um, I guess it's just Jian by Jian and Hee Jung by themselves at home, and so uh, Hee Jung asked Jian what he wanted to eat, and of course Jian says apples. So he was, she was like, "Okay, I'll give you like two apples, and that's no more than that because Jihei Jihei Opa said no more than two apples, or else." But then, of course, curiosity gets the best of her, and she wonders, you know, after Jian is done eating two apples, and he's looking at her with puppy eyes, and he wants more apples. And then, of course, yeah, Hee Jung gets an idea. It's like, "Oh, he, you know, if it won't hurt if I feed him more apples because you know what, what could go wrong, kind of thing." And so she thinks she's still sly. She thinks she can pull a quick one on Jihei, but no. So she ends up. Up, you know, saying, "Oh yeah, eat as much as you want today, Jian." And then, of course, he eats seven apples. He downs seven apples, and that in turn leads us to finding out that Jian gets totally stupid drunk off of apples. So, like, he he acts like a drunkard when he has too many apples. He hits his head, and then he's like. He gets a little bit more like a demanding and assertive as a prince. He's like, I want more apples, give me more apples, it's an order kind of thing. And he just just like, what the hell is going on here? And then of course Jihei comes home earlier than usual than what he Jung anticipated, finds out we get busted. And then of course Jihei, well he, Jihei's a gentleman, he doesn't exactly get super pissed off at us. He just, you know, gets low key, you know, passive aggressive kind of thing. Well, not even that. He just gets low key, kind of like disappointed in us. So like we apologize to Jihei. We didn't realize this would actually happen. And then you know Jihei takes Jian off to bed. And of course, uh, in the midst of his drunken state, Jian kind of like he kind of slurs out how like you know he has to he has to let go of Jihei because Jihei won't find happiness with him and blah blah blah. And that was that. And uh, we get another cutscene. I don't know if this is before or after the fact where we got Jian drunk. But anyways, we were at the park with Jian, and then we were talking about. How, you know, Jian kind of, like, you know, again, he went off to talk about how uh, he wants to let Jihei go. We bring up that fact, and then Jian gets sad, and then and then we talk about that uh, Jian goes a little into a bit about how, like, he wants to become an animal that does not think or feel because, you know, that way he won't be able to feel pain or feel guilt or whatever the hell. And then Hee Jung also reveals the fact that, yes, I, I know that feel, bro. And so Jian is really surprised by that fact because they're like, oh, yeah, you seem like a person who, like, lives life so eagerly and, like, you know, earnestly that to, you know, to think that you thought that, um, you know, it's kind of surprising, and then Jian thinks that, you know, we're strong that way. And so, yeah, that was that. And then we had a Christmas incident. We had a Christmas little uh, special occasion happen, but then it's just, again, it's just we're walk walking out with Jian, and it's Christmas, and he gives us that Christmas card, and it's like, yeah, that's it. That's basically what went down. And then, final cutscene was when I think. Uh, he Jung obeyed Jihei on not giving uh, more than one apple, it's down to one apple a day for Jian, so 
uh, Hee Jung is for sure, she's strict on that, she's like, I got it, like, I won't do it again, and then so, uh, she was gonna hold, keep her promise this time, but then, of course, when she gets back from school, she finds that Jiyeon had rummaged through the entire box full of apples and ate to his fill, like, to his, you know, to his, ha to his happy, glorious fill of apples that day, and again, he's in that sort of drunkenness day, Hee Jung's freaking out because he got into the apples, and then, um, and then she was kind of reprimanding him, kind of be like, oh, you know, this is, like, why would you hide the fact that you were sneaking apples? You know, Jihei's worried about you, you know, you shouldn't disobey Jihei like that, you only had one. And so, in, in our, you know, in our lecturing and our worrying, uh, Jian kind of, you know, breaks down in the fact where he's like, you know, he's saying like things that go away, you know, like leave me alone kind of thing, stop patronizing me in a way. And then we find out that, you know, he, you know, he has a som somewhat similar experience to us in which, you know, uh, people have been, you know, always nagging at Hee Jung to do this and to do that this way and that way. And she understands what you know he's going through and so she comforts him she's like Jian like you know I'm sorry like I didn't mean it that way like you know I was just worried about you kind of stuff like that and you know, it's okay it's fine and then of course Jian he thinks in his you know stupor he thinks that we're he we're Eddie or Heat or Jihei and then she's just like whatever he just is like whatever so so yeah then we get that and then from then on afterwards Jian likes to follow us around now <laughs> and then it's just really cute so yeah and then we talked a bit about how Jian or Hee Jung uh, Jiyeon finally reveals to Hee Jung that he was a prince back in where the world they came from but then here and now he was like that doesn't matter anymore like I want you to treat me like you have been always treating me and of course Hee Jung as well she's like you know slowly teaching Jiyeon how to do things on his own and that you know he should you know stop relying on Jihei so, mu so much and like to learn some independence so yeah that was that and so yeah, we we're getting kind of we're kind of getting there with the whole relationship thing going on developing with Jian. I mean, he he follows us around now instead of Jihei, and he's also kind of and we also are like we treat him differently in terms of how Jihei treats him. So like he sees that difference, and he's really like you know he notices that. But anyways, yeah, that's it. And then we we got our hundred set points. Of course, our next one would be the hundred twenty five. I think I swear it's hundred twenty five. But anyways, regardless, um, it's gonna be housekeeping from here on out until we get cutscenes or again we get another set point so yeah that's all the recap for you guys uh, until then i will see you for another cutscene or something interesting happen so yeah okay guys cutscene wow that was really fast actually <laughs> like i just literally did like two days okay jiwoo do we haven't seen much of jiwoo ever since uh, you know the start of jiyeon's route other than the fa the beginning part where he's like oh stay away from those strange bunnies <laughs> Anyways, what you, what's wrong, Jiwoo? Jiwoo, what's wrong? Do you not like my house? Do you, do you really? Uh, Jiwoo grumbled. It's not the first time to hear Jiwoo grumble, and I'm used to it now. Yep, because he does it a lot. Yes, yes. <laughs> like, that's his, like, default mood. <laughs> I know. Seeing what? Seeing what? Yeah. Yeah, seeing what? I'm, I'm confused. 잘난 토끼 옆에 시종이 둘로 늘었잖아. Ah. Okay. Hey, I'm not a servant. I don't count as a servant. And neither does Jihei. What? Is he talking about me? Yeah. 지금 내가 지은이 시종이라는 거야? Right? Jiwoo? God, no. 그래. 집안의 사과 냄새가 진동을 한다고. 달달한 냄새 때문에 짜증나는 걸 어쩌라고. Well, you said that the last time I kept buying oranges for Ji Jian, okay? So shut up. You don't have a favorite food except for cabbage. Like, would you like? Would you rather have me buy like a shit ton of cabbages? 누나, 저 토끼한테도 사랑을 줘. 질투하잖아. I know he is. <laughs> He's low key jealous. 헛소리하지 마. 누가 질투야? 야. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, Jian, where are you at? Jian spoke as he took a bit of his apple. Yeah. yeah, come here, let me give you a hug. You want some cuddles? Let me squeeze your paws. I know, and you're one of them, so deal with it. Jiwoo pointed at all of us. <laughs> yeah. Yes, because he did point at all of us. Uh, Jisoo thought for a moment and protested. Yeah, 
형은 말 안해도 바보인 거다 알아. Yeah, <웃음> that's true. Jiyeon spoke casually as he peeled an orange. Yes. 야, 내가 뭐? Yeah, you, you're, you're kind of a little dumb. <laughs> I mean, you didn't get the concept of 21. And it's like the easiest card game. <laughs> How did the conversation get to here anyway? Oh. Saver. <laughs> Saver, you mean. A Jiyeon pouted. I'm not the nanny, okay? God, I'm... Jesus, what's, what's everyone's deal? God, Jisoo glanced at Jiyeon and asked me. Yes, yeah, so give him a break. God. 맞아, 큰 토끼. 어, 이번에 무슨 방송에도 나온다고 했어. On a show? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause he does. He since he's a model, he does like TV broadcasting as well. Ah uh, yeah. 방송. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, Jihye on TV. Yes. Hmm. 제목이 무슨 정제분말 별사탕 왕자님. <laughs> I don't think that's what it's called. Exclude? 바보야. 정체불명. 다른 별의 왕자님 모델지의 독점 인터뷰거든. Of course, Ji would know about it. He's all into those like freaking gossip, like reality celebrity TV shows. Hmm. 맞아 yes, 그거. Yes, that one. 근데 지우야, 넌 어떻게 알아? Because he's secretly interested in those things. 시끄러! 그냥 우연히 봤어. <웃음> yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever you say. 저 토끼 연애 채널 좋아하잖아. 너 몰랐냐? Yeah, see, I, I knew it. Yeah, I knew. 그랬어? Yep, he does. But Jihye is amazing. I know, right? He hasn't started working for long, but he's already going to be on TV. I know. 오빠, <웃음> wait, mysterious prince from another planet. Oh, mysterious, huh? Well, at this point, yeah. But we already did Jihei's round, so we know all about him. <sighs> um. uh, yeah, he's mysterious, alright. No matter how deep they dig, they'll find nothing. Because these animals really are aliens from fantasy land. Yep. Prince from another planet. That's actually Jian. Yeah. That's more Jian. <laughs> no, not really. No? Yeah, it's not. It's no big deal. I'm okay. I'm cool. Really, it's not. Yeah, I never thought it was a hassle to take care of Jiyeon. Yeah. In fact, I enjoy it. Right? The way he always follows me around is so cute that when I'm outside, I'm eager to go home to see Jiyeon. I know. <laughs> 뭐 그래도 남자 토끼 두 마리 알콩달콩 붙어 있는 것보다 너랑 붙어 있는 게 훨씬 보기 좋아. Um. Uh, okay. I. Thanks, Jisoo. I. I guess. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Like, think of it like a sibling relationship. God, like, what's, what's gross about that? <laughs> Jisoo shuddered. What? Jisoo, I'm just sure. Yeah, I'm just sure. Hey, well, <laughs> soft and pretty. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh my god, really touchy. He got super touchy with Dion when he's drunk. Huh? I'm sure he's old enough to drink, even though he's younger than us. Uh, minors are forbidden from drinking in this world. Ah, that's the truth. Uh, Jisu quickly covered Jion's mouth with his hand. <laughs> whoa, whoa, yeah. Oh, come on! I want to hear the deeds. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Jion looked at me pleadingly. Ah, uh, didn't didn't he say it was gross when guys are together? Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Jiwoo. Jiwoo looked at them pathetically. Uh, there's never a peace and quiet when the guys are together. Dolma, 그 이야기 한 번만 더 꺼내면 네 누나들한테. No, 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 we're not going to do that. Women, yes. <laughs> Playboy Jion here with his sugar mamas. Oh, Jion, have you... 
What happened? Are you asleep? Are you tired? Jiyun stood up from the couch. Are you... Are you annoyed? <laughs> Do you want some peace and quiet? Mm? Huh? Everyone focused their attention on Jiyun, who suddenly stood up. What's the matter? Yeah. Jiyun quietly walked towards my room. The door closed and the living room became silent for a while. Not missing the chance, Jiyun removed Jisoo's hand from my from his mouth. Uh, is that really it? Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go. I'm gonna check on him. Right? You guys are so noisy. <laughs> okay. God. <laughs> Alright, Jisoo sat on the sofa and turned on the TV. I walked to my room. Jiyun! Knock knock. <laughs> yeah, coming in. Jiyun? Jiyun is sitting on the floor, blankly staring out the window. Oh. Uh, he usually stares outside like that on the balcony. Jiyun, yeah. <laughs> I don't blame you. Yeah. Jiyun didn't reply and continued to stare out the window. What's wrong? Where good When you so I sat next to him on the floor. Yeah, you okay? Jiyun blinked once. Is that a yes or a no? Is it like one blink yes, two blinks no? Jiyuna. Mm -hmm. Jiyuna. Where? Where good eh? Jiyun's eyes sparkled like rubies. Uh, he seemed to be staring inten- He seemed to be staring directly at the sun. That is not good for you. <laughs> don't- Don't his eyes hurt, right? Boyo. See what? Oh, Jiyun's voice resonated in the room. Yeah, see what? My future? Really? Oh, because yeah, before he was in his drunk state, he was like, he couldn't see our future. And that it was just a void of darkness <laughs> and coldness. <laughs> that was what, that's what he revealed. Now he can see. Oh, okay, well, so what do you see? What do your rabbit eyes see? Jiyun stood up. He can see my future? Yeah, why? Where? I awkwardly stood up after him. Jiyun extended his right arm in front of him. Why? Oh, what is he trying to do? Yeah, why? What is happening? And something amazing happened. What? Is he gonna perform magic because he's magical? <laughs> Whoa! Why? <gasps> Whoa, my window opened by itself! Whoa, yeah, look at him! Superpowers! What's going on? What's going on? The cold winter air rushed into the room. The wind was blowing so hard that I couldn't- that I could hear it. Yeah. The papers on my desk are flying everywhere in the room. My printouts! My notes! <laughs> I think that's the least of your worries, girl. <laughs> is he doing magic? Yes, he is. Uh, I couldn't believe what's happening in front of my eyes right now. Whoa! Uh, papers were flying everywhere and June was standing in the midst of all this. What, but what are you doing? Why are you doing this, though? Okay. With his uh, with his one arm st still stretched out, June spoke. Uh, he even wore a smile on his lips. Why? What's what's going on? What is June doing? Yeah. Is this some kind of a magic? Maybe. Uh, eh? Uh, June looked at the sun again. Do you communicate with the sun spirit or some shit like that? What is this? What? To my astonishment, the wind suddenly stopped at Jiyun's words. Or, or a wind spirit. <laughs> oh, what? Impossible. Impossible! <laughs> Jiyun suddenly put his right arm down by his side. Wow. <gasps> what was that about? Well, I dropped on. I dropped into, into the bed. Or onto the bed. Yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable! Was that some sort of magic? Yes. Yeah, but what, yeah, what was that though? What just happened was like a scene from a fantasy movie, right? I mean, your entire life is kind of like a, you know, K-drama as fantasy, low subgenre fantasy show anyways, Ji Jung. Jiyun looked like a magician. Nah, better than that. Uh, Jiyun turned to look at me. Yeah, what's up? What was that? Eh? And he quietly walked over to me and sat next to me on the bed. <laughs> yeah, what did you do? Oh, did you? Okay. Alright. 
Ah, uh, my future. Yeah, but he's a magical prince. We already know that from Jihye's route. Yeah, what was that though? I'm very curious though, like what was the process like? Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, just breathe, girl, relax! <laughs> relax, relaxation, calm down is... Jiyeon squeezed my hand. Ah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, Jiyeon looked at me straight into the eyes. Looking into Jiyeon's eyes, I could no longer speak. I could feel my heart beating fast. Yeah, um, I'm alive and well, so that's clear. That's clearly true. Jiyeon is making me calm, yes. I can let out a breath. I let out a big breath. Yeah. Uh, and Jiyeon seemed like a different person. He was like a little brother before, but now he's the one who's trying to soothe me. I know, right? Okay, but what did you say though? Uh, he's been repeating the sentence many times, right? I guess so. Really? Okay. <laughs> Precognition? God? There is a God? A gift from God? Oh, gee, wow. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Even though the window opened by itself and fierce wind came in. Yeah, I mean, well, the wind didn't do anything other than mess up your papers and notes, but like, still, that's fixable. Indeed, he did. So that's why that. So that's why all that happened. Yes. June not. June slowly nodded. Uh, precognition. Does that allow you to see someone else's future? I guess. Yeah. Is that even real? Well, I don't know. It just happens. So you tell me. I find it hard to believe. I I'm just gonna trust your words on it. Okay. I still can't believe what just happened. I know. It's hard to take. It's hard to take it all in. It's like you know, finding out your pets turn into people. I know. Jia nodded once again. I know. What kind of future though? Like, it's a happy one. Am I gonna be successful? Am I gonna be rich? Like what? Just tell me that. Can you at least tell me that? If he really saw my future, what did he see? Yeah. No, I won't. If it's like me getting together with you and shit, then like, it's all good, because we already know that. Except for Hee Jung, obviously. But like, still. Jiyun smiled slightly. I'll be embarrassed? Why? It's making me even more curious. Right, give me a hint. One hint. Am I an adventure? Well, my life is already adventure, so yeah. Am I am I going on an adventure? You know, kind of like with Bilbo. <laughs> and you were there. Yeah, it's gonna be like the Fellowship of the Ring kind of shit. I tried to hide my nervousness and waited for Jiyun to say more. <laughs> okay, we can all guess that, yes, Jiyeon is like, he'll be our boyfriend or something like that, or whatever. We get together with him. Okay, whatever. I get it. I felt disappointed. Rules again. No. Uh, adventure? What kind of adventure? An adventure by myself for the first time. Uh, okay, whatever. Jiyeon shook his head. That's too bad, I really wanted to know. We'll find out sooner or later, don't worry, girl. Right, how'd you get- yeah, how'd you get that? I mean, like, up until this point, really, like, what we know about their world, it's like, even though it's not much, like, but I would think that there won't be any magic involved, but apparently there is. Like, he's- he has superpowers. He said it's from God, but how? Yeah, how? Okay. 
and which he is. Only one? Really? Only one? Then only one person... Then only, yeah, one person is granted with the power of precognition? I guess? I guess God was just like, bless this person in particular, and he chose Dion. Uh, it's kind of hard to believe, yeah. <laughs> Ah, so exact. So that's exactly what he did. Kuriku <laughs> took Swan Ainin. Yes, and you didn't return the Chinese. And that turns out to be you. Kurum Niga could took Swan Ainin. Yes. Okay. All right. Divine child Jian. Then Jian, isn't he the most important prince in his kingdom? Right? Why is he here? Then what is he doing in this world, exactly? Oh, okay. Alright, and I'm guessing Jian doesn't want to be king. Maybe. Yes. Hey, ah! <laughs> oh, wait, isn't this a big problem? I bet you he, doesn't, he didn't want to become king. He might become king, he might become a king, and all he does in this world is eat apples all day. Well, isn't that the life? My god. Uh, it's quite shocking. Okay, it's either that he doesn't want to be king himself, or there are plenty of people who would be like, let's prevent him from being king kind of thing, you know? Because there's always going to be those people, there's always going to be, you know, a hidden half-brother somewhere and a conniving mother who's going to be like, I must make my son king or it's the last thing I'll do. Uh, I imagine armed rabbits raiding my house. This is beginning to scare me, I mean, yeah. Oh, will you? Oh yeah, true, because yeah, he's going to get his wish granted because that because he's in the process of making him fall in love with making us fall in love with him and yeah yeah blah blah we get yeah we get the point what? yeah I return yeah I suddenly had a sinking feeling I had forgotten I'd forgotten for a moment that I can't be with the animals forever ah uh, yes and but not in the way that you think he Jung I hung my head I suddenly felt very lonely oh yeah. Uh, Jian will return home one day. I see. Jian is an important person in his world. It's obvious that he has to go back. Yes, no <laughs> super. Jian asked carefully. I nodded. I I'm sad and I will be lonely, right? Yes, because that means that I'll miss you. I lifted my head to see him. Jian was smiling softly. Ah, but Mami Turo is more like I care for you rather than like Choa, which is I like you, or Sarang, Sarang Yo, which is I love you. Jian looked straight into my eyes. I could feel my gr my face growing warm. I I'm happy that he likes me, but. Jian is smiling slightly. I still don't want you to go. Why is my heart pounding? Because you like him too! <laughs> I slipped my hand away from Jian's. Why do I suddenly feel shy? Pukuro! <laughs> Jian was always like a little brother to me, but now he doesn't seem like one, right? It's going to take some time to explain how I feel at this moment. Which means that's why we only we got two more hearts to work on, girl! <laughs> You're getting there, which is great! Okay, so... I'm pretty sure that doesn't give us a new step point, so we're just gonna con I'm just gonna continue on to do more housekeeping, and uh, yeah. So and I took a peek at our status with Gia, and we're still in the green for all of his like little like satisfied stats kind of thing for our femininity, beauty, and art skills. So yeah, we good to go. We still good to go. Yeah, okay, guys. Cutscene. It is the end of January, and we're gonna do. Ooh, we're gonna take a nice walk along the beach in the middle of the night. That's nice. The winter ocean. Kinda cold. <laughs> I like how it is quiet and the I like how it is quiet, but the chilly wind quickly makes my cheeks frozen. I don't like it when the wind hurts my face. Yes, do some fact checks. <laughs> yes.
마지막에 한 말은 무슨 뜻인지 잘 모르겠어. I mean you, 바보야. <웃음> 그럼 나머지는 다 맞는 말이야? Yes. Mm. Okay. Jiyun recently began to talk more than he did. Oh, that's just cute. He answers to all my questions now. He only used to blink in response. I think I have a lot to do with Jiyun speaking more. Yes. I feel kind of proud of myself, right? Same. <laughs> Some, <laughs> Some character development, which is great. Yeah. I don't think it's a, it's all what it's cooked up to be, Hee-jung. Jiyun closed his mouth. Indeed, he does. And of course, it's bound to be some people who wants to just assassinate you, because, you know, they're haters. Jiyun walked on the sandy beach in silence. I could only hear the, the sound of the waves. Why is he not talking? Because he's like, uh, being king, do not like. Horrible memories. Was it a question I, was it a question I shouldn't have asked? Yes. Jiyun's expression looked dark. Right. It's always the case. Jiyun stopped walking. Jiyun suddenly stopped walking. Yes? No? Yes? No. Aww. I see. Because it's hard, it's tough, and people hate you for no reason. <laughs> yes, that too. <laughs> yeah. Jiyun said that he didn't like a noisy environment. And he did say once that he did want to hear and think. And he mentioned that he hates rabbits, yes. People will probably try to tell him all these things once he becomes a king, right? There will be people who will want his power and try to use him, exactly. Can Jiyeon be strong enough to handle all that? Aww. Right, I mean... Right, not in a bad way, but it's more like I don't think the life I don't think that lifestyle suits you. How would I feel how would it feel to be a king? Uh, I can't imagine. Right. For me, thinking of where to work and how to get a job is a big enough pressure already. Exactly. But the weight of that but the weight that Jian must carry with him must be much heavier. Why? How am I strange? Wait. Yeah, wait. 당신이 말하면 이상한 기분이 들어. Why? Does your does your mom go dugum dugum? Mommy dugum dugum. Catch me dugum dugum now. 이상한 기분? Ah, because he's slowly falling in love with you. In that sense, he just doesn't realize it yet. 따뜻하고 포근한 느낌. A warm fuzzy feeling. Ah. Warm and comfortable? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so, Hee-jung, but like, okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh ma. How is your relationship with your mom? <laughs> like, we know that she was a maid, so like... No. Oh, he's sad again. Jian paused and thought for a moment. I am, cause I am Hee Jung, right? <laughs> As Hee Jung, God damn it, girl. Right, Eddie is Eddie is different. Eddie is like one of a kind. And I'm one of a kind. <laughs> Aww. That somehow made me feel good. <sighs> right? Why are we out here then? The fact that I'm not like anyone else means that I'm not a replacement for someone in Jiyeon's life. Exactly. Oh. Good way to put it. And Jiyeon told me that we're equals. Uh, that made my heart flutter. Uh. Yeah. One thing I'm curious about. Yeah. How is your relationship with your mother? To hide my excitement, I changed the subject. She must be a queen if Jiyun's a prince. Nope, she's a maid. Uh -huh. 
was a maid. Yep. We already know that. <laughs> I love how that music stops so dramatically, but we already know that, so we're like, eh. <laughs> uh, he, she's a maid, yeah. If she gave birth to a prince, she must surely be a queen. Nope. Nope. Yep. After taking a deep breath, Jian continued. Oh, that sucks. Is it like okay? I, I seriously, I watch too much like Korean historical dramas as well. But it's like the king has a queen, like which is like his wife, but then he also has you know like concubines and stuff like that. So like you know it works in that sense because back in the day that's how it works. <laughs> but that sucks. She has to be forced to live in another palace. Really? <laughs> Aww. His mother was a maid? That's not- that meant he's born from people of two different classes, yes. And about the part his mother being sent away. Then Jian grew up without his mother, yes. Kinda sorta. We already know that as well. Mm -hmm. Because people treated him badly because of his silver hair. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so they're both of the same situation, yes. Mm -hmm. Of course, I know, right? It's just, we can all clearly see that. Wangjari. But Jian's like, no. Ah, uh, young, small, young Jian. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. 저는 특별하지 않습니다. 저에게 관심을 가지시면 안 됩니다. 저를 만지시면 왕자님이 더러워지십니다. No, Eddie. No, Jihye. Jihye, don't think that. Jihye, how could you think of yourself like that? 아니야, 넌 특별해. 넌. Yes, you're you're so beautiful. It hurts. No more Arundawo. Arundo Morikaragia. Don't talk about Arundo. Wang Jari. Jui Saramdri Sison Temune. Don't touch any old man Arundo and Jiburuku. Yeah, because they're haters. Kaki old man as Punirinji. Come Gagal Chonya de Kijimotel Chunduru, some choip quiso. Chashini old man a pan and Jutu Murukuiso. Eddie는 아름다운 남자였어. 하지만 주위에서는 모두 그를 미워했어. For whatever stupid fucking reason, goddamn. 너무 아름다우니까. Probably, yeah. Cause, cause he's beautiful and everyone else is pitiful. Okay. It's impossible if someone is as beautiful as Jihye. 사람들은 Eddie의 머리카락이 불결하다고 했어. Yeah, we already know that too. Well, they don't know beautiful and if it hits him in the face, okay? So, like, their opinion doesn't matter. <laughs> yep, I know. Unbelievable. I had the feeling that Jian's world is no different from mine, right? People look at you funny if you're different, yes. If you don't walk along the path that others do, fingers are pointed. They make you feel as if you're committing a crime, I know. Right. Mm -hmm. Except it's a little bit more low key. Actually, sometimes it's high key, but like, yeah. Eh. I smiled wryly. I always, I always was told and therefore thought that I have to be like everyone else. Instead of asking me what I want to do, I was forced into doing what I should do. Being judged. Jian, Jian looked at me and spoke. Me? What? Because I'm scared. Jian's words pierced me like an arrow. 
It's hitting home. <laughs> I came out of home. I came out of home, but why am I still living the same life, right? Without knowing what I want to do, I'm doing things that I should be doing every day. I became independent because I wanted to change, but I didn't change a bit. I know the reason very well. Because I'm scared. I was I was at a loss for words. Like Jiyun said, I'm afraid. Yes, I knew it. I want to change, but if I change... Mom might not look at me again, but I had to fuck mom. <laughs> she don't care about us that way, god. So I continue to live the same life. I want to get out of this endless same old routine. I want to go on an adventure and I want to go on an adventure to seek out something new, but but you will. Don't worry, because Jian said so. That's in your future. Mm -hmm. Well, they ain't no ride or die crew then, then they should be dropped. <laughs> I'm afraid that mom will leave me. I know. It's baby step, step, little step at a time. This, this is strange. I never told this to anyone else. Is it because I feel uncomfortable around Jian, or is it because I believe that Jian will understand me? Both. I said the things that I've kept inside for me for such a kept inside of me for such a long time. Where? Jiyeon reached his hands to touch my face. Ah! Oh. <laughs> his red eyes are looking at me. My heart began to pound. <gasps> this is weird. <laughs> no, it's not. This is great! Jiyeon suddenly looks very mature. Right. <laughs> I'm lonely and I'm scared. And I'm like you in a way. Yes. You said it, bruh. <laughs> I felt my heart sink. He's just a, he's just uncovered my secret that I've been hiding from everyone. It's as if he's reading my mind. He seems to know everything that I'm afraid of. Is tell it to me. Say it. Yes. My frozen cheeks gradually became warm by Jiyeon's hands. Ah, it's like a it's like a weight lifted off your chest, isn't it? I could see my breath in the air. Not only does he see the futures, but he also reads minds. I don't know. <laughs> no. He's just really good at reading people. How are you able to know so easily? I mean. I took a stab at it, and I got 50% of it right, so girl, it ain't that hard. It wasn't that hard. <laughs> uh, the secret that I've been hiding by pretending to be strong. <gasps> You're gonna make me cry. Alright. <laughs> Bruh, he just said he saw your future, okay? So, like, I'm pretty sure, you know, you're Gucci. Uh, he reads my mind as if it's nothing and then just says, it'll be alright. I can't simply say thank you. I've been suffering for too long. I've been afraid. Afraid to be left alone. That mom will leave me and I'll be alone. And that I'll have no one by my side. Ha <laughs> Man, this just got really deep. Like, I thought we were just going out for like a little midnight stroll on the beach thing. It's gonna be romantic and shit, but nah. <laughs> Even if I change, there's no guarantee that I'll be able to find my dream. But hey, anyways, it's just, that's a journey, right? That's all part of the adventure. <laughs> it's all part of the process. But deep inside of me, I knew, I already knew. If I wasn't going to change, I wouldn't have become independent from mom in the first place, right? See? Baby steps, right? It's been four years since I became independent, and what am I doing now? I haven't changed a bit, what am I doing? <sighs> Don't worry about it, girl. Like, it's your pace, your lifestyle, your, you know, you do you kind of thing. Right. 
I just spent my four years hesitating. Living the same life that I wanted to get away from. Zion gently stroked my cheek. Aww. I felt all my pain and fear melting away. Because of what Jiyun said. Knew that. I already knew that I'll be okay, right? Although I'm afraid of being alone. I know that I'm no longer a child. Exactly! So you, you take control of your life. I knew that I would be fine alone. But, that fa but the fact made me so lonely. And sad. <laughs> oh god, I know. So I didn't want to admit it. Exactly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like. Jiyun looked at me with an all-knowing face. Jiyun, are you a mind reader? <laughs> Aww. Jiyun hung his head. Ah. It confused me because he looked different from what I had seen until now. I wonder what kind of life you've lived so far. Oh, Jiyeon-i! jiyeon Ah! <laughs> I'm just gonna hug you! Jiyeon smiled warmly. Yes! Well, that is until the sorcerer does some shit. And, you know, the wizard does some shit. Sorcerer, what am I saying? Wizard, the wizard. Strangely, Jiyeon's words gave me confidence. A prince told me it's okay. So I'll be okay then. Yes! <sighs> Gotta guts to believe! It's so annoying! <laughs> it's all about this timing, oh my gosh. Ah, now this is romantic. I saw something white falling down and looked up. The first snow of this year. Big snowflakes are falling down from the sky. Ah, big snowflakes, yeah. They're pretty. Yepuda! No, yepuda. They're as pretty and pure and. They're as pretty and pure as Jiyun. Oh, you said I'm beautiful. <laughs> Don't do that. You can't. Don't do that. I wasn't. I was. I wasn't ready. No. What? <laughs> eh? I was about to ask. What do you mean when? Oh. I go. I go. Come on. Ah, hugs. <laughs> hugs. Jian is hugging me. Oh my god. White snow, the ocean, and Jiyeon. Oh my god, so picture perfect. It seems like a dream. What did Jiyeon just say? That you're beautiful, girl! He thinks you're beautiful! I felt my head going blank as my heart was beating wildly. How am I to explain my emotion right now? I know, it's all so jumbled up. My... my even your sentences! God, you can't even think properly, girl! My heart is beating so loudly and my face bur is burning up? <laughs> Eh, aww, <laughs> just hold me. I couldn't speak. My heart began to beat even faster. I will I? I wish. Oh yeah, right. Yes. Will I? Okay. Thank you. Thank you for reassuring me that. Jiyun spoke as if he's casting a spell on me. What I want to do. No, uh, don't we all wish we have, you know, a Jion, a Jion in our life? You know, I've been waiting to hear those words. The anxiousness that I carried with me vanished like a spell. Ah, ah, ah! That's so, oh, that's so sweet of him. I, I. <laughs> Anyways, I feel like that still doesn't give us a new set point, though. Or maybe it does- nope, no it doesn't. Okay, so more housekeeping stuff, again. <gasps> oh my god, we're slowly progressing to, you know, realizing our feelings and developing this relationship with him. Oh my gosh. Okay, so anyways, guys, yeah, housekeeping. I'll BRB, you guys. Okay, cutscene! More cutscenes, you guys! Yay! Okay, what's gonna happen here? Oh, what did I tell you to do? What? I told you to do many things, like, you know, tie your ribbons by yourself and shit. Let's see what he's done. So we're in the kitchen. Maybe slice his own apples? Oh yeah, he's helping us cook. Aww. Green onions were chopped into different pieces on the cutting board. Aww. <laughs> it looked as if an elementary school kid had chopped them. 
Uh, you tried. Aw, oh, my sweet baby. Jiyun looked at me with a blank expression. It's kind of... It's been two weeks since Jiyun started helping me in the kitchen. Aw. Frankly, Jiyun has no talent for cooking. <laughs> it's okay. He's trying, but... Right? <laughs> He's trying. He has an excuse. He looks so cute wearing an apron. I know. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you can just be my little personal helper. Just like, you know. Yeah. Mm. He, and he passed me the baking soda. And <laughs> he didn't pass me the salt. <laughs> you should label them. Because you know. Makes it easier. The truth is, he is not much help. <laughs> but it's just better for him to sit on the sofa alone while I'm cooking. Yeah. Plus, doing something together is what matters, right? So thoughts that count. I season the food with salt. I think this is mu I think this is enough. Okay, what are you making though? Mm, uh -huh. It took me longer than usual since Jiyun helped, but he did his best. <laughs> longer question mark. <laughs> uh, food is almost done, but why? What happened? I guess it's just us then, huh? Dinner for two? Uh. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Eh? De? Yeah. Ah, true. <laughs> I have been catering to you in terms of the you know, menu. Right. <laughs> He's got a point. That's true, majority rules. I'm not making vegetarian food because I favor Jiyun. Never! Ouch! No! That's ridiculous! Yeah, I mean, yeah, like... I mean, you can cook majority of your... You know, like, dishes to be vegetarian, but like, you can also have just a small side of, like, meat stuff. So like, fish or something, or like, you know, beef. I feel a bit guilty, haha. <laughs> yeah. Oh, or someone's home. Who? Who is it? Duguseo. I saw a familiar face coming in through the front door. Better not be mom. Better not be fucking mom. Okay, it better be Jihei though. Is it Jihei? Yes, it's Jihei. Ah, okay. <laughs> see, I'm always happy to see Oppa. <laughs> Thank goodness we have one more person to eat this huge meal. Yes. Perfect. Ah. Jihei. Oh, Jihei, he's calling him Jihei. Oh, not oh. Eddie. What? What? What did Jihei just say? Oh, no. what the fuck? Oh. Jihei closed his mouth again. Wow. He he just said Jihei, yeah. Not Eddie, but Jihei, yeah. Eddie's right? totally completely chill about that. Of course, because it's Jihei, but like still. Jihei asked worriedly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this awkward atmosphere, this situation, you know, this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, yeah. Well, he, he's not cooking, but like he tries to help me, like pass ingredients and shit, but like, you know, he's trying. Jihei looked surprised. Come to think of it, Jihei was so busy lately that he hardly spent any time with Jiyeon. Maybe he wasn't aware of the fact that Jiyun's been changing. Yeah. Uh, yeah isn't that great? Right? With a weird look on his face, Jiyun looked back and forth between, J between Jihei? Wait, what? I think it's with a worried look on his face, Jihei looked back and forth between Jiyun and me, yes. Or, I don't I don't know how that sentence is supposed to be worded, like if Jihei was supposed to be first or Jihei was supposed to be second, I don't know, whatever, regardless. Jihei, Jihun assured Jihei. Yeah. Jihei. I definitely heard it this time. Yep. He call he called him Ji called him Jihei, not Eddie. Uh, uh mixed feelings, huh? Is he sad or yeah. Kentana? Proud? Eh? I can't read Jihei's expression, I know. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, are you... okay? <laughs> Jihei seemed to have come back to his senses once I called his name. 
네. Okay. All right. This is you know have dinner then. 저기 저녁 안 먹었지? Right. Yeah. So you wanna you wanna sit down? <laughs> Eat together? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why there's no there's no audio for this. Why? Okay. This is strange. Yeah. Eat together. Yeah. Jiyeon tucked Jihae's shirt. 앉아. Yes. 같이, 같이 먹어. 아, 아하. Jihae hesitated for a moment but then sat down. This is really awkward, right? <laughs> this is so awkward. Jihae seems to be thinking deeply about something. 오늘은 콩나물 김치찌개를 해 김치찌개! 해놨어. Oh my god, I love chim- kimchi-jigae. Trying to burn up the atmosphere, I spoke in a cheerful tone. 음, 그 yes. Well, yeah. Kimchi. Is it healthy? Okay. Alright, whatever, but I love it. I love it. Jihei, again. Yeah. Is Jihun going to call him Jihei from now on? I guess so. Jihun calling him Jihei means. Aww, but again, it's not like he has to let him go, like push him away like that. Like, just be less and less dependent on him. I remembered what Jion had said. The Jion has, then Jion has decided to, yeah. Jihei sat. Jihei still silent. Oh no. How's he taking this? Jihei's acting a bit unusual today. Normally he would offer to help, but now he's just sitting on the chair, looking dumbfounded. <gasps> oh no. It's hard to adjust. I know. Jihei ah. seemed to have come back to his sense at Jiyeon's words. Uh, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is so awkward! Yeah. Uh, 아니, uh, 같지, I know, it's a bit of a shock. 그리고, yeah, I know, 되는데. just take your time with the Jihei, I know, it's hard to adjust. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. He kept apologizing until it was getting awkward. It was like he was waiting for Jiyeon's orders. Awkward. I know, awkward. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Right? Good balance. <laughs> Jiyeon nodded. Jihei watched us in silence. I know, are you- how- you okay? Are you- Taking this all right? Yeah. Oh gosh. Anyway, guys, back again because my this fucking game just crashed on me and of course I didn't save up until this point, so I had to go all the way back and then get up until this point. So, anyways, as we were saying before, we were in rudely interrupted. Jihei, are you okay with all this? You okay with this change? Jihei was not eating at all. Okay, I know it's a lot to take in again. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yes, he did. Of course, he did. Such a sweetheart, kind of. You know, he helped in a certain way. But you know, he helped regardless. Um, Jiyunika, parang yang paru sorosso. Yeah. Mm hmm. Jihei put his left hand on his chest and carefully took a spoonful of soup. Okay. Even that looked classy when Jihei did it. I know, it's like what he's doing right now. <laughs> he's just kind of... That's good. See, Jihei gave a faint smile. Aww. But Jihei's hands were shaking. Oh no, yeah. So, yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Just... He's, just have, he's just trying to take it all in, having a little bit of a hard time coping. But you know, it's, you know, he'll, you know, he'll eventually get around to it. Takes time. His hands are shaking. I know. I know. Jiyeon's growing up. I know. Jihei didn't answer. Was he feeling okay? Oh god. Of course you'd be. I mean, yeah, you've been taking care of him all his life, and then all of a sudden this change just kind of came out of nowhere. Uh, Jihei put his spoon down and spoke. I think he was majorly surprised. Yeah, majorly. I've never seen Jihei so uncomposed. But I understood why he was so surprised, yes. Jiyun, who was always who always depended on him, was becoming more and more independent, yes. I wonder how he thinks of 
I wonder how he thinks of the new Jian. Is he feeling proud or lonely? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> 아가씨가 도련님을 잘 보살펴 주신 것 같군요. Yeah, I have. Aren't you proud of me? I didn't fuck up this time. <laughs> Jihei smiled at me. For some reason, his smile seemed lonely. Of course. 아니야. 지은이가 나랑 잘 지내줘서 오히려 고마운 걸. Right. 그런가? Mm hmm. Uh, Jihei looked at Jiyeon. 제가 곁에 많이 있어드리지 못해서 항상 죄송했는데. Much time dash or bracket dash. I don't know what that means, but anyways, whatever. I feel ya. 네가 미안해 할건 없어. 아, 아. Jiyeon, Jiyeon cut Jihei off. Why do you sound so cold about it, Jiyeon? 진작 이랬어야 했어. Oh my God! Why do you have to? Why you gotta be so cold about this? 도련님. Yeah, what he's trying to be happy for you, and you're all just like this should this should have been how you who how it should be always been. 난 너한테 너무 의지만 해왔어. 조금씩이지만 이제 나도 혼자 일어서는 법을 배워야 해. Yes, of course. It's a vital skill to live your life. Uh, Jian looked at Jihei with serious eyes. Okay. 이제 내 안에 널 가두는 일도. Mm -hmm. Eddie. He called Jihei Eddie again. Okay. 말하려고 했지만 기회가 없었어. Oh, is he gonna is he gonna spill the is he gonna spill the tea about how he the whole what he saw? I think he's gonna spill the tea on like, you know, he saw Jihei's future. This is the thing I I I, I totally remembered or like it came back to me when. Uh, Jian was kind of blabbering on when he was drunk with, about like how he saw it, but he didn't say anything about it. And we were like, oh my god, I thought he saw something, like he actually witnessed something physically. But no, I think what he means is that he like saw Jihei's future, saw what was going to end up happening with, you know, how, you know, his love was going to end up committing suicide and shit. And like he didn't, but he didn't tell Jihei about it. So yeah, I get, see, I remembered about it. Jian, are you... Okay, I'm gonna let you go, right? Oh, he looked at Jian with an unbelievable look on his face, of course, because he's like, what? Let him go? Does that mean? Or I guess not. <laughs> I guess. Well, anyways, whatever. That was something that I came back that I just kind of like remembered when he was talking about it. But yeah, I guess he's not gonna say it yet. I guess. <laughs> Yeah, you know, as much as, you know, this relationship was really nice and all, but it's just, yeah, it's just, they're just in their closed off world, know nothing better kind of thing. Not good. Yeah. Jian looked straight into Jihei's eyes. Okay. Right? Be free to live your life, Jihei! Why not? <laughs> I mean, you can still like hang around him and stuff, but like he's just saying that you don't have to be so like you know close to him, like stuck to him, like glue. 그러니까 그라스에 돌아가도 더 이상 내 황궁에는. But Jihei cares about you, Jian. 그럴 수 없습니다. Ah oh, no. <laughs> Jihei shouted for the first time. Yes. I don't think I've ever seen Jihei upset before. Why is Jian trying to keep a distance from Jihei? I mean, yeah, like I said, he's like, I I said I said that it would be okay if he wasn't so dependent on Jihei, but like it doesn't mean that he com he should completely shut him out of his life. Like, oh, I don't need you anymore, kind of thing. Uh, they still care for each other. I know it, right? Exactly. It makes me sad just looking at them. I know, don't kick him out, God! Don't kick him to the curb! Jihei hung his head. No, no, don't, don't say that! Jihei asked in a weak voice. Oh. Uh, there, was, there was a silence, yeah. I cannot even interrupt. Yeah, this shouldn't be our place to interrupt. I wonder if Jihei is okay. I hope he is. Please no, it's not you, Jihei. It's not you. 그런 게 아니야. 
에디는 하나도 잘못하지 않았어. Yeah, it's not you. 나쁜 건 나야. 너한테 맨날 어리광만 부리고 너무 의지하고 있었어. 응. 에디, 난네 행복을 막은 거나 다름 없어. Right. Well, kind of. I, I guess. I remember what I remembered what j i a n had told me. That he ruined j i h e s happiness. 왕자님은 아직도 그런 생각을 하시는 겁니까? Oh, or maybe j i h e s already aware of that. Like how j i a n saw his future but still didn't, you know, prevent thing from happening. Yeah, the commit the, the suicide of his lover, I guess. So, I, or or maybe like Okay, okay, okay. I can I I can't, I'm kind of piecing it together in terms of timeline. So it's like Ji Ji Eun saw Ji h e s future, didn't tell him about what was gonna happen, and then of course, because you know, obviously Ji Eun doesn't like automatically see into people's futures like right away, kind of thing when he first meet meet them, I guess. Like I'm pretty sure, yeah. So like after the whole incident of like his lover, uh, Ji h e s lover is committing suicide, then Ji Eun kind of revealed the fact, be like, hey, I kind of knew that was gonna happen, but I didn't tell you, and then of course Ji h e accepted that already. But of course Ji Eun thinks. You know, he's it's still eating away at him. Jihei called j i e n Prince. Yes, Jihei raised his voice as if he was very upset. 모든 건제 잘못이라고 몇 번이나 말씀드렸잖습니까? Oh my God, they're all just blaming each other. <laughs> 아니야, or blaming themselves. 내가 나빴어. <laughs> 내가 비겁했으니까 피하기만 했으니까. Yeah. Okay. 너를 방패로 내세웠단 말이야. Okay, so I guess that I, I guess that's what's happening right now. 저는. 당신에게 쓰이기 위한 존재입니다. 당신은 당연한 일을 저에게 시키신 것 뿐입니다. Oh. 결국엔 나 때문에 그녀를 만난 거잖아. 네가 행복해질 수 있었는데 난 There we go. 난 Okay, I, so I understand what's happening. All right, that's I'm right. Her? her? Yes, her. 난 어떻게 하면 너한테 사죄할 수 있을까? Jiyeon was shaking. Yeah. 어떻게 하면 난이 죄책감에서 벗어날 수 있을까? Seeing Jiyeon in agony made my heart ache. Oh! <laughs> oh, Jihyeon approached Jiyeon, who was shaking, and gently embraced him. <gasps> 왕자님, 당신은 저에게 사죄할 이유가 없습니다. Of course not. 미안해, 에디. 미안해. 미안하다는 말씀은 그만하세요. 왕자님이 잘못하신 게 아닙니다. 난 에디한테 용서받을 수 없어. 그만, 그만하세요. 에디는 너무 상냥해서 날 미워하지도 못하잖아. 그러니까 에디를 자유롭게 놓아줄 거야. 왕자님. Jiyeon's red eyes were filled with tears. Oh. 날 위해 희생하는 건 이제 그만해도 돼. 왕자님을 위해 희생하는 건 제가 사랑하는 이유입니다. 당신은. 그것을 포기하라고 하시는 겁니까? 에디는 내 옆에 있으면 행복할 수 없단 말이야. 다른 이유를 찾아. 난 네가 행복해지길 바라고 있어. 진심이야, 에디. I could hear Jiyeon sniffling in Jihae's arms. Oh. I could only watch the two of them. 그게 왕자님의 뜻이라면 저는 거역할 수 없습니다. 당신은 상냥한 왕이 되실 겁니다. Jihae's voice was almost a whisper. 당신이 저에게 상냥하게 대해주셨기 때문에 제가 얼마나 구원받았는지 당신은 모르실 겁니다. 왕자님은 강하십니다. 이렇게 멋지게 성장하셨습니다. 저는 당신을 믿겠습니다. 설령 당신의 옆에 있는 것을 허락받지 못하더라도. Jiyeon listened to Jihae in silence. He then gradually parted from Jihae. Jiyeon's cheeks were red, perhaps from crying. 
나는 좋은 구강이 될 거야. Jihyun spoke firmly, looking into Jihye's eyes. 에디가 나에게 상냥함을 가르쳐 주었으니까. 왕자님, 게임이 끝나면 당신을 그라스에서 뵙겠군요. Game? Oh, finally, yeah, of course, because you know, Hee Jung perpetually always forgets about the game. And what's grass? I thought she already knows. Or whatever, girl. <laughs> Is it the name of the place they came from? Yes. Ji Hye straightens his clothes. He was back to his normal self. I got you. Yes. Ne. Uh. Uh. I'm going to leave this place. You're leaving. Why? Where? Where? Oh well, true. Cause like we just like, we just went through this whole thing with Jihyun letting Jihye go, so he's gonna live. He's gonna go live an independent life now. You know? <laughs> what is he talking about? Oh, 어디로 간다는 거야? 너갈 곳은 있어? Yeah, his agency. Cause he's like a ball and model now. 당분간은 에이전시에서 신세를 져야 할것 같군요. Mm hmm. 이렇게 갑작스럽게? 더 이상. 제가 이곳에 머물 이유가 없어졌습니다. <sighs> Then Jihye was only staying here because of Jian and because he, you know, when that when you know when the game playing field was like, you know, everyone's fair chance kind of thing, fair play, everything's fair play, then it's like, yeah, he was staying, but now things have changed. Uh Jian is just looking at Jihye. He's not going to stop him. Of course not. Jihye is just going to leave like this. 그동안 감사했어요. Oh, no problem. Anytime, Oppa. <laughs> With that, Jihye walked to the living room. Is he is he really leaving? Yes, he is. I know, it's so sad. With just a simple goodbye, he's leaving. I know, no fucking goodbye party, okay? No, no, hot, no little hot pot together with everybody else. Just, just that, really? I wanted to ask him the exact reason why, but I felt that it wasn't my... It wasn't in my place to ask. I mean, you can kind of take a hint, Hee Jung. But this is so unexpected, I know. Uh, that night, Jihye really left the house. Oh, he took everything that belonged to him. The house looked as if Jihye had never lived in it. Oh, Jihun told Jihye farewell as if it's as if he's indifferent. But to me, it looked as if Jihun was making his best effort to look indifferent. Of course, he is. I mean, like. Honestly, their relationship goes way back. How long? And now it's just this, t you know, this new change. Oh, oh my baby. Ah, I know he's growing up and everything, but like, okay, there we go. Our new step point. So we're going to do the step point right here, right now, you guys, unless he's not. Oh, okay. He's available for Saturday. Cool, cool. He's the totes available for Saturday. Let's go to the park. Let's just chill. Have a chill day at the park. Uh, yes, I want to be with you. Uh, of course, I'll be here for you. It is getting warm, is it now? Uh, I feel sad because it means that it's getting near the end, yes. Ah, uh, this is the part where, like, I'm excited. I'm excited for what? Why? Do you want some water? Why? I don't know, uh, but my heart feels weird whenever I see you. Ah, okay, well, okay. This is how beautiful, this is how the beautiful world looks in your eyes. Uh, will I be able to see the world just as you do someday? I'm surprised we're getting the whole like, oh, it's near the end coming thing where it's like they, you know, the guys talk about how like, oh, the end is near, there's not enough time left to spend with you, blah, blah, blah. But like, we're getting this now with Jian, but at the same time, it's like we have two hearts up with him. And like, uh, we don't have any romantic developments as of, that, as of yet. Like, what is this? I enjoy spending time with you. Well, kind of, like, kind of romantic ish, ish. I like looking up at the sky in the park. Uh, so ask me to go out with you again. Okay. I mean, romantic in the way of where it's like on Jiyun's standard, where it's like he's following us around and he really likes, like, you know, talking to us and he thinks we're beautiful <laughs> and shit like that. Okay. Oh, he's available Sunday. Yes, Jiyun, yes! Yes, Jiyun, okay. Let's go to the art gallery. Okay. Yes, I'll go. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, the exhibition of a Western artist. Yes, I'm curious. Yeah, let's go in. Let's go in and see. Uh, this is... Uh, oh yeah, it's art, but I guess it's a bit embarrassing to look at. Um, um, 
Don't be embarrassed. I'm not thinking of anything else. Okay, <laughs> get inspired. I guess you must be having a new idea for your next work. I'm curious as to how it will turn out. Ah, oh, thank you. Okay. Look, I don't, I don't know what... I enjoyed the exhibition. How about you? I enjoyed it as well, even though I don't know what I was looking at. Uh, I like holding hands with you. I do too! We're home sooner than I expected. Yes. Aww. Aww. <laughs> I'm kind of still sad with Jihei though. <laughs> Okay, 106, okay, we're still good. Our heart gauge is up. Um, why does it never give me anything for pressure? It always gives me stuff for like, stress, but like, stress is so like, to the point where it's like, I don't even have to fucking manage it anymore. <laughs> Anyways, let's save and let's work, make, uh, let's see, make some progress with Jiyun. Okay, are you talking to the plants? Are you by here? No, okay, fine. Let's see... Where are you? Okay, you're here. Are you sketching? Yes! Yay, there you are! Okay, interact! I wanna interact with you! Woo! Ah! <laughs> but I, I can feel you, but I got blue hearts, so I don't know if that's gonna give me points. If you're going to draw, I want to watch you. When I'm with you, the entire world falls silent. And all I hear is the sound of your pencil. It tickles my ears. It feels nice. Ah! I'm glad you like spending time with me! Okay. Let's see. I think that- I don't know if that gave us any points or not. Oh god. Okay, you know what? I'm just using- I'm gonna use a textbook. Just cause I have so many of them. I might as well just use them. There we go. I'll just use another one. Oh no, I didn't want to use- do that, but like, use that. Okay. There we go. And just to take a quick peek- yeah, we're still in the satisfied range. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, we should save. 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 Okay. That didn't give us any points. Okay, maybe we shouldn't really inter- Oh! Uh, I've been looking for you. Aw, I feel strange when you're not around, but I can't quite explain why I feel strange. Uh, let's water the plants together. I want to be with you. Oh, okay. I wonder if his bad ending is gonna be something like Jisoo, where it's like, Yandere kinda almost. Or like, he's gonna have a total mental breakdown. Where he's like, he doesn't know what to do with himself. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, we can only kinda guess. But, right now, let's not think about it. Let's not think about- you know, tainting our, our dear Gion here. And let's just spend the most that we can with him. <laughs> okay, he's not there. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, you're out here. You watering plants. Oh, talking to the plants. Yes. Oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. Stop that. Stop it. There you go. Alright, so let's not... Interact is like a 50-50 chan chance, so let's just say, ask him what are you thinking. I was wishing for snow to come, but snow is already here. I was interacting with them. I hope they grow well, uh, because you and I water them together. Ah, I'm sure they will! They're our little plant children! Okay. <laughs> uh. I'm sure that gave us points. Yeah, 108. Okay, so we're just steadily making progress. Are you talking to the plants again? Yeah, you are. See, I'm so good at this. I am so- Um, let's talk. I need to be more mature, both physically and mentally. I was interacting with them. Yes, yeah, so what do you think of me? Uh, do you think I grow taller? You're already hella tall. Apparently you're taller than us, so... So you don't need to- you don't need to grow anymore. <laughs> uh, okay, so... You're in the kitchen, so that's great. I shouldn't- I shouldn't say this out loud, but like, I'm thinking it because, you know, it's- it's horrible- it's- it's horrible of me to think it, but like, now that Jihei is kind of like, you know, living by himself, like, at least we get G- Ji Jihun to ourselves, so like, he'll always almost be home every single time, like, he won't be out on weekends, I don't think. I don't think, not anymore. Oh, what? I found a pretty apple! Ooh, that is a pretty apple. Jun gave you an apple. F yeah, gave you an apple from Jun. Uh, I'm okay. I want you to eat it. Oh, you're giving me an apple. <gasps> Ultimate sign of trust is that he's giving me apples. Oh my god. Okay. Anyways, yeah, I feel bad for thinking that. He's like, Jihei's not here anymore. So that means he's going to be home 24-7, which means I can easily get points with him. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, whatever. Let's go to the restaurant. Uh, let's- yes, let's go together. Yes. Yes. Uh, that restaurant has good food, does it? I want to eat the dish that I ate last time. Okay. No problem. Okay, you're be- 
Stop it, you! <laughs> really? Really? Yes, you'd better have more confidence in yourself. Aww. Okay. <laughs> Is that delicious? No, I don't want to drink it. I was just curious because you seem to enjoy it. Should we have been say? Should we have said thank you? <laughs> the food was good. Yeah. I wonder if that gave us pointer or not. I don't know. Uh, being out with you is fun. Uh, I want to go out with you again next time. Of course, dude. I will bring you out every time, always, every day. In fact, I'm gonna do it right now. So does that? Yeah. Okay, that gave us point. Okay. Where to go now? Cafe. Let's go to the cafe. So let's see. Yes, I'll go with you. Of course. Because you're the only one I will take. There are many people. Yeah. We'd better hold hands. Of course. Let's hold hands all time. <laughs> all the time. Those two. What? Whoa, turn my eyes away. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I will I will soon become tall. Soon become tall? <laughs> you mean you wanna grow you wanna be older and mature. Okay, whatever. Something is on your mouth. I I wipe it off for you. Oh well, thank you. <laughs> Uh, I had fun, what about you? Of course, I had fun too. Uh, take me out again next time. I would like being with you. Of course. Of course, Jiani! God, Jian. Okay, 25th, Monday. Okay. Let's see, where are we at with that? 117. Okay, so we're almost there. We're very close. We can do this. Easy, easy. Okay. Are you talking to the plants again? Yes. Almost always talk to the plants. So what are you thinking? I'm actually worried about Eddie. I am too, actually. I was interacting with them. I hope they grow well because you and I want them together, yes. I'm worried about Jihei too. I mean, like, he makes it he makes it sound like he's gonna move out to a different country or some shit like that. And, like, we can never ever see him again. Like, I want to visit him and he can visit us, you know? Oh, yeah, we got our hearts. Yay, we got our heart, but we have five more points left anyway. So let's just do it. Let's just max it out. Are you back on the balcony again? Yes, you are. Let's just talk to the plants. Are you talking to the plants? Oh, not this time. Maybe he might be watering it. But anyways, whatever. Jian, where are you? Oh, are you here? Are you napping? Are you education channel? Oh, education channel. Cool. Cool. I want to talk to you. I'm glad that you chose me. Uh, yeah, come closer. Yeah, the mat... The matters of the heart can't be defined with numbers. Of course not. That's why it's difficult and with Eddie too. Yes, feelings. <laughs> feelings are... They're... They're complicated. Okay. So where is that with us? Is that like 122? Really? Okay, fine. We'll push for three more points. Just give me the last three points, please. Please, please, please. Uh, let's. Can I give you? What are you thinking? Yeah, Eddie can now become happy, right? I, I don't know. I guess. Uh, yeah, come closer. When I'm with you, nothing seems to matter. Even now, I feel calm. Aww. I'm glad. I'm glad you're not too bummed out by this whole thing with Eddie leaving and shit. Cause I am. <laughs> Low key am. Anyways, is that, does it give us a max point? Yes, it does. It gave our max points. So anyways, we're going to end this episode here, you guys. And we will... Oh my gosh, we might just end up finishing this off in the next episode. Oh my god, I don't... I don't know what's going to happen. Like, we... Like, so far, I'm not... Like, not that I'm complaining because this is within, like, Jiyeon's character and how he is. But, like, yeah, it's like... This is totally completely different from how we were romancing the other guys. Like, we don't... We, we haven't gotten our first kiss with Jiyeon yet, but I guess... That's, that's to be expected, because again, it's 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 Jiyeon that we're talking about. So, you know, it's not like we don't we are not having any sorts of romantic interactions with him at all, because we hold hands, right? <laughs> we hold hands, and he he says we're beautiful, so that's something. Anyways, uh, we'll I will continue this in the next episode. We have our we have our last step point left, one more heart space, which is 150. Wonder what's gonna happen in the, in that meantime. So yeah, so again, tune in next time. But yeah, for now, bye.